Hello um, everybody, welcome to God for Faith Television UK. My name is Pastor Jimba Alex and the topic for today is Rest in Peace, Baba Raymond Alahadi. Now you don't know who Baba Raymond Alahadi is, but he was one of my closest friends in London. And one week ago, Baba Raymond Alahadi, he passed away. You know, so um, me and we used to work out no, not work out. I mean, we used to converse and um, dialogue in McDonald's in South London. And his son, one of his sons, who's about, um, I'll say 30 years old, he's the one that revealed it to me. One evening I was there and he said to me, Do you know my, my dad has passed away? I said, Who? He said, No, no, Raymond Baba Alahaji, your good friend. He's passed away. So he hit me. And, um, it's been two weeks now, but that's exactly why I'm making this video because Raymond, you was like a mentor to me. You was like a mentor. And if people don't know what a mentor means, a mentor means a wise, trusted advisor. So Raymond, you always gave me advice. You was like an elder. There was even times when I was going to lose my life and I was talking to you about what I was going through and you gave me advice. And the advice you gave me kept me alive. So that's why when I heard you died, it was a, a bitter pill to swallow. I found it hard to take, you know, because you got time for people and um, you always gave me advice all the time. <coughs> Sorry. You strengthened me. You did. So Raymond, I know you was a PhD holder and you was always encouraging me. Like me, I'm a graduate, master's degree, I got all those kind of things there, but you even went a step further, you got a PhD, you always encouraged me. So you was very impressive indeed. Raymond, you would never know, because <clears throat> I know you're dead yourself, but you saved my life too. You know, you told me how to go to the chemist and you mix those prescriptions and I took it and I felt better. Because at that particular time, man, I was even going to give up my life. I was battling as well. So this is one of the reasons why I'm making this video and I want to say Raymond you're a very well educated man You know I don't care what people say I know the relationship that I had with you Because every evening I will come to McDonald's and we will sit down On the table, we will get some dinner, I will be talking and man You are very very intelligent I'll give you that, you're a very educated man You had a bit of a temper on you You had a bit of a temper on you and um, you always told me off but sometimes Raymond I felt like you told me off unnecessarily because I remember one day I was having a conversation with you and you just in front of everyone you just stood up and you went crazy and you went you got angry and I said oh what's the problem you said no 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 whenever I'm talking to you I should never mention your name that's when I knew something loopy was going on with Raymond you're telling me you didn't give me a good enough excuse why I shouldn't mention your name we're having a conversation you stood up and you got angry and it's like he went ballistic. He started shouting. He said, Listen, Alex, I'm warning you. Anytime you were talking, don't mention my name. Okay, that's what I think. There's something wrong with Raymond. So that was unnecessary. And who knows? That could have been the beginning of the end. Maybe the symptoms were showing at that time. You know? So you told me off unnecessarily. I always believe that you're a funny guy. Raymond's very hilarious. You know? Whenever we talk, <laughs> you're very, very funny. I find you, I find, I find you as an interesting person. And not only that, you was young, you died young. How old? 59 years old? That is young, man. You, still had a, you achieved a lot, but you still had a, um, your life ahead of you. And not only that, Raymond, you was very kind to me. I don't know about other people, but you was always kind to me. There was always food there, drinks there, um, advice, um, acknowledgement, camaraderie. You was always there, so I, I kind of miss you. But I got to admit as well, Raymond, towards the end, you looked very ill. I mean, every evening you would be in McDonald's with your head bowed down. And when I come there like 6 o'clock in the evening or 7 o'clock in the evening, you're waking up, like you're waking up in the morning. You say, um, Alex, oh, yeah, how are you? No, 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 that was wrong. So people were beginning to think that there was something wrong. You know, because the signs were there. You look very ill towards the end of your very young age. I must admit, Raymond, you set some very successful high standards. And 
you was very successful indeed. I mean, you had houses in Kent. You had houses on the Woolworth Road. You had um, a number of cars. You had a lot of children. You're very educated, man. I respect you. I respect you. I respect the, the friendship that we had. And uh, Raymond, you always cared for people. That's for sure. You always cared for people. And you, you are the one that was always telling me that, Alex, you know what? I'm going to go to that family's funeral because my uncle died. I'm going to go to that family's funeral because my friend died. You, from the past 10 years, he was always flying to Nigeria, always been to different people's funerals. So I couldn't see it happening to you. So that's why today I'm doing my funeral for you. This funeral is the Baba Raymond al -Haji funeral. I might not be able to get to your funeral in Nigeria or in London or whatever it is, but I'm doing my funeral for you right now. It was your son that told me that you died in hospital. He said you died of cancer. So that means all the way, all the time we were talking, Raymond, and all the time he was giving me advice on how to cure myself. You had cancer yourself. Rest in peace, homie. Rest in peace, homie. I want to say, Raymond, you are a major loss. Not only to me, but to your family and to the whole world. Because the brain you had, man, that was a bit extraordinary. I, I know an idiot when I see an idiot. And I know a con man when I see a con man. But Raymond, the biggest compliment I can give you is that you are a major loss to the whole world. Raymond, you will never be forgotten. You will never be forgotten by me. I particularly think you're one of a kind. And um, Raymond, on that note, I want to do a tribute for you properly. I'm going to lay down some flowers. So Raymond, that's my flower, and um, I'm gonna put it on the floor for you. Yeah, and Raymond, I gotta pour out some water for you. So rest in peace, my homie. You'll get it on the floor as well, the bottom and the floor. Yeah. Raymond, this is all for you. Rest in peace. Yeah, can show the floor as well. Yeah, rest in peace, my homie. And the bottom one. This is all for you, Raymond. Rest in peace. I miss you, man. You're really my homie. This is all for you. Raymond, rest in peace. Your death really affected me. Your death really affected me. Right? Rest in peace, man. In Jesus' name. Rest in peace, in Jesus' name. Rest in peace, in Jesus' name. Look at what I'm going to do with the bottle right now. Rest in peace, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. You can watch the Gospel Press Television in the UK. I'm passing through my Raymond, rest in peace, man.